Now, this is just outrageous. France's highest court has just ruled that a man who pushed a 65-year-old Orthodox Jewish woman out of the window of her Paris flat and shouted, God is great in Arabic, is not criminally responsible for her murder. The assailant, 27-year-old Kobili Traore, has been in psychiatric care since the death of this woman who you're seeing right here, Sarah Halimi, and is a, quote, heavy pot smoker. Well, the court says that he committed the killing after falling into a delirious fit while on drugs and therefore is not responsible for his actions. As you might imagine, Jewish groups are outraged by this ruling, and now French President Emmanuel Macron is urging a change in French law over the matter. And we have journalist Eduardo Quay joining us from Paris to break this down. So I'd first like you to tell us more about this case because, you know, it truly shocked French society and the rest of the world when it happened, exposing a, what many say is a new strain of anti-Semitism among radicalized Muslim youth. How did France react? How was this case seen? Well, of course, the French Jewish community is completely outraged. They're, they're very sad. Uh, they're astonished. There's a lot of anger. In fact, they have called for a major uh, demonstration on Sunday, this coming Sunday, on the esplanade of the uh, uh, human rights, called the esplanade of the human rights at the Trocadero that faces the Eiffel Tower. Uh, we'll see how many people show up, but probably a lot of people will. There have been different demonstrations over the years, since 2017, when uh, uh, Khalami was uh, assassinated, uh, supporting her and asking for a trial. Uh, President Macron, uh, who was uh, very heavily criticized back in January when he said that this case should come to trial for interference with the justice system, he has uh, kept away from commenting on the uh, issue itself, but has called for changes in the law, which uh, state that uh, a person who is under the influence of drugs or alcohol or has other mental troubles is not penally responsible. The court uh, said that it was basing its decision on the law and that it could not go further than what the law itself says. Of course, people who disagree say, well, when you get uh, stopped by a policeman for drunken driving, the fact that you are drunk does not excuse you uh, from the act itself. Uh, so there is outrage here in France. There have been quite a few anti-Semitic acts, a, a lot of people killed in these acts. Or you might recall the three children and teacher killed in Toulouse mm -hmm. a few years ago at a Jewish school. The four people, the four Jews killed at a kosher supermarket in 2015. And there are constant anti-Semitic acts in France. So the situation is quite tense. What do you think this ruling says about French society or just the legal system as a whole? Well, I think that uh, there probably will be a change in this particular law so that this doesn't happen again. A commission was established in uh, June 2020 to study the issue. It has not yet uh, come to any conclusions. Uh, to answer the question about what this says about French society, there is no question that there is a great deal of anti-Semitism in French society. Remember, there is a very large Muslim population here, about 5 million Muslims. Now, this is not to say that all of these 5 million Muslims are are anti-Semitic, but there is the, the, the tension between the two communities, uh, and, and that is uh, undeniable. Uh, Jewish uh, leaders are also very upset at the fact that very frequently the French media and the French political class uh, hesitate a great deal to call these acts anti-Semitic, even though they clearly are anti-Semitic, because the people that are being uh, hurt, that are being killed, are Jews, and, are, and they are being killed because they are Jews, which was definitely the case in the Halami situation. Well, we're hearing threats from Jewish groups to take this case to the European Court of Human Rights if nothing is done. What would happen then? Well, uh, there has been some talk about taking this uh, case to the uh, European Court of Human Rights. Uh, I'm not sure that any decision that the court might make, which is probably years away, uh, would have much of an impact uh, on this particular case. But I would venture to say that the law uh, will be say uh, will be changed so that people who act under the influence of uh, drugs, alcohol, or have other psychiatric problems can be brought to trial. 
trial. Although I must also add that there are a fair number of people, including psychiatrists, who say that the, the issue is not so simple and that uh, it's not really fair to bring people who are obviously disturbed, who are obviously mentally uh, uh, not uh, right, uh, who have serious mental problems, to, to bring them to trial. And we should also remember that uh, the right. man responsible uh, is and has been and is likely to remain in a psychiatric hospital. It's not as if he were free.